<gasps> oh, sick! This this story is voiced. Nice. The winning squad this year is none other than seven, seven, seven. True, it is a winning squad. Let's hear a few words from Blanc on seven, seven, seven's behalf. Okay. Hello, everyone. Big shout out to all my fellow competitors for making this tournament such a blast. We nice. had an amazing time and hope you did as well. May Tetraline always bask in good fortune. What kind of tournament is this? Clap, clap, clap. Uh, magnifique! And for the winners of this year's competition, I will be presenting them with the golden ship emblazon with my face. Wow! Thank you, boss! Mustang hands Blanc a sparkling golden coin to s the size of a fist. I'm sure you are familiar with the rules, no? No, but do tell. Only one squad can hold this chip at any given time. Those who possess it will be able to demand a request from more, which I will grant. He does have a lot of pull, based on the story. So you absolutely must keep it safe, Monsieur Blanc! I will! I wonder, is there anyone out there who can put a stop to 777 Victor's streak? We will be back in one year's time! With more fun in Desertation! <laughs> I gotta hand it to the voice actor for Mustang. Does a pretty good job! Considering how weird of a character he is. Girls, as always, I eagerly await your dazzling improvements with the passage of time! <laughs> and with that, madams and messieurs, the Tetra Golden Ship event has come to an end! Oh, it's done. I'm Mustang, Tetra Line CEO! And all together now, enter Tim! Bang bang! Oh, guns, gunshots! Wow! <laughs> oh, okay. Hi, Soda. They just happen to be at the the casino. Everyone really gets into this whole shindig. I ended up watching the entire thing without even realizing it. <laughs> Indeed, it appears to be quite enjoyable. Should we toss our hat in the ring next year? No. <laughs> Coco, now. Well, I don't want you to, but they can. If the pro maid were to join, the game would be too easy. Cause we totally win, you know. Okay, that's more like Coco. Besides, we're not hard up for cash anyway. I mean, and I guess that makes sense. They're very pop. They have their own establishment, and they're very popular. Mm, I guess you're right. Instead, let's be sure to check out next year's event. That'd be great! One year later. Bonjour, my lovely girls! It's that time of year again! It's none other than the Tetra Golden Ship Showdown! <sighs> oh my god! <laughs> So, so the bunny suit jump scare. <sighs> Why is she pouting? Soda, you seem quite nervous. Everything all right? Huh? She looks, she looks very different. Uh, of course I'm fine. Just wait and see. I'm gonna bring this home for me for you. No doubt about it. Very nice. So we get to actually see what the casino looks like. <gasps> Wait, is this a banger? I didn't realize how short Alice is supposed to be. I think it's kind of interesting, especially putting her next to Soda. Soda seems like one of the like taller girls. 
But in comparison, that makes, that makes Alice look very petite and small. About two weeks before the Tetra Golden Chip event. Hmm. Hello. Hi, Soda. Good morning. Uh huh? Oh, it's you, Soda. Oh, she just walked in. Good morning. Oh, welcome, Soda. As you can see, our morning is anything but good so far. Huh? Why? What's wrong? Now that Soda is here, I'll get straight to it. Made for you isn't seriously hot water. Oh no! Financial hot water? What? But why? What happened? We've been stretching ourselves awfully thin these past few months to hold various events. But as you may already be aware, the Maid Cafe's clientele still remains the same. As a result, our profit margins have gone down. Wow. They sound like a corporation. And we don't have enough capital to continue operating the cafe. What the heck? That's some poor ass financial decision making y'all did. We scrounged up every last credit we could get from my piggy bank and aid secret stash. But we'll still barely make it through to next month. What? But then, what do we do now? Are they gonna do a story where they're gonna enter the casino to earn money? <laughs> the cash prize is, is what they need to keep their establishment up. I've seen this movie before. Are we going to have to close the cafe? I am looking into getting a loan as a last resort, but... Mm. I'm not sure. This can't be! I, I can check if I've got any money saved up. Her? Save money? She doesn't seem like the type. <laughs> Beep. At that moment, Coco, Aid, and Soda's phones all go off at the same time. What's this? Considering we all got a notification at once, I'd say it's probably from our group chat. Let's see. Oh my! It's not from our group chat, but Tetra Lines. Mm. <sighs> <sighs> hmm? A notification for the Tetra Golden Chip event? It's that time already? Uh, we were rather busy last year, and so participating didn't quite cross our minds. All we did was spectate. Hold on. This is it! It's Soda's idea to enter? We should participate this year. If we win, Boss will grant us one wish. So they're gonna ask Mustang what? To pay the money to keep the cafe open? We can ask for some financial support for the cafe. Do you think that's feasible? Considering we'd be up against 777, who's renowned for their unbroken string of victories. They're going up against Blanc and Noir, which I also think is Kind of unfair considering they basically like live there in the casino. That may be, but we're professional maids. We'll be able to beat them easily, especially in things like origami folding, which I'm really good at. Okay, Coco. That's right. Besides, it's not like we have anything to lose. If we don't win, then at least we tried. I mean, you could use the time to earn money doing side jobs. <laughs> Who knows? We could end up working a miracle. Mm. <laughs> I suppose that is indeed the case. Hmm. Okay. Shall we give this notification a proper once-over? Okay. Let's go over the rules for participating first. Why does she speak so slowly? Teams must consist of three members. One team leader and two other members. Teams can only consist of Mikes from Tetraline. Oh, okay. So this event, so he's pitting his Nike against each other <laughs> for one wish. Teams do not have to consist solely of members from a single squad, but in the event such a team wins, the team leader will receive the golden chip. However, one thing of 
note is that only one member of any given squad can be a team leader. That's all. Hmm. I'm not sure I quite follow that last point. Hmm. Let me try to put it another way. Let's say I form a team with two Nikkeis from another squad and appoint myself as the team leader. You and Coco may join other teams as members, but you can't take on the team leader role. Ah, I get it now. This way, each squad can only have one representative in the competition. Isn't it simpler to form teams with members in the same squad? In theory, yes. But there are some squads with less than three members. That's true. Why would you... I also think that the way that Nikkei does squads, they're they're very small, small groups. Like you would think a squad would be at least made up of like four Nikkei, but some squads are just two. <laughs> That's not really a squad in my opinion. Moreover, forming teams with other squad members can potentially give you a strategic advantage. However, someone can pretend to be an ally, only to obstruct our efforts for their own squad. Damn. Oh right. There are loads of strategies that can be implemented. In our case, though, we're pretty fortunate. Since we have exactly three members, Kokoa could be the leader, while Aiden and I will round out the team. Is this pronounced Kokoa? What? Why is it pronounced Kokoa? That's weird. Um... <coughs> Aiden and Coco exchange furtive glances. Soda? Yes? Unfortunately, I don't think it's going to be possible for all of us to be on the same team. Huh? Why not? One of us has to stay here to run the cafe. Yeah. According to this notification, participants must stay at Coin Rush for a few days. We can't leave the cafe unattended for that long. Oh, you're right. Keeping the maid cafe open takes top priority. Well, since you're the head maid, Kokoa, I guess we don't have a choice. Kokoa? That's distracting. Aid and I will have to do our best without you. The only question is, who should we ask to join us? Uh, hmm. Uh oh, she's gonna bow out too. Forgive me, Soda, but I believe it is incumbent upon me to remain and assist in managing the cafe. Huh? You too? If we leave one person to handle a three person job, there's no way things will run smoothly. If Coco tends to the customers and cooks the food, I should be able to manage the rest, but just barely. However, the prospect of obtaining the golden chip remains slim. And we can't afford to jeopardize the cafe for such an uncertain outcome. I mean, true. That is smart. And you know what? If Soda leaves, the, the, as clumsy as she is, that might be a benefit to uh, the cafe to run smoothly. So, that means... You can represent Made For You in the Tetra Golden Chip event, Soda! What? Me? By myself? You won't be going it alone. You'll be with two other teammates. But I don't have any other friends. <laughs> Aw, Soda. What a loser. <laughs> I'm just kidding. You yourself mentioned that we had nothing to lose by giving it a try. Didn't you? Y yeah, I did, but... We're sorry to dump all this into your lap. If it's all too overwhelming, you don't have to do it. True. <sighs> Soda timidly looks up and glances around the maid cafe. This place, with its pink interior, holds cherished memories created by the affable co-workers and customers. It's a place that must be protected. And you can tell because the music changed. And in order to do that, Soda has to create a miracle. <sighs> Okay. She has her determined face. I'll do what I can. Okay, look, 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 real quick. Look at her eyes. Look at her the shape of her face and compare it to her bunny version. I feel like they're two different styles. <laughs> really? Oh, 
Honestly, Soda, you don't have to force yourself into this if you don't want to. No, I want to. I... I want to do my part in protecting this place. So let me give it a shot. I'm not 100% sure I'll be able to do it. But I'll give it my best. Okay. <laughs> Soda. You're the best, Soda. You're truly a professional maid. I'm so proud of you. Why is she the head maid? <laughs> That's right. We'll do our best on our end here as well. As for the rest, I'll leave it in your capable hands. Good luck! Have no fear, you guys. I've got this in the bag. So confident. I talked to Big Game back there. But what in the world should I do now? Oh. <laughs> oh, of course. We're back here in the commander's room. Today was yet another long day. I'm going to probably say something that I was tired. Things were more tumultuous at the outpost than usual, but I'm sure it's nothing to get too worried about. I should wash up and get ready for bed. <laughs> uh, famous last words. Of course. Huh? I hear faint knocking on the door. Who is it? Are you sleeping? Is that you, Soda? Yes, it's me. Is it okay if I come in for a bit? <sighs> Fine. Of course, come on in. Sorry to disturb you so late. Must be really late. The lights are off. As she walks in, Soda looks significantly more haggard than... Something in the matter? That damn sigh. You just know that they're gonna ask me, the commander, to do all kinds of shit for them. Mm. Oh, she's crying! Uh-oh. Actually, Master... Soda fills me in on everything that's happened up until this point. So you're gonna be representing Made For You at the big Tetraline event. And you need to search for two team members? Yup. I've been wandering around all day. But everyone has already formed their teams. Oh, shit. Or they're not interested in participating. So I'm having a hard time finding teammates. <sighs> so I wanted to ask. Yes? Um... You want me to be one of your teammates and wear a bunny suit. Got it. Perhaps... You would be interested in joining my team? Oh, wait. Really? <laughs> me? Yeah. Right here, in the fine print. It says... Soda did her research. I'm impressed, girl. One team member can consist of an individual of one's choosing. I guess Coco and Aid didn't catch that bit. Mm, but... Ooh. Okay, okay, okay! I can't find enough team members. The maid cafe is done for! Coco and Aid are counting on me. Are things really that bad at the cafe? They are. All of these events have put us in the red big time. With things as they are, we can continue to operate the cafe for a month, max. You know what? I have a decent amount of cash in game. Theoretically, I could just make a big donation. And then I could tell them to knock it off with spending money on events because it's not earning them more cash. Going up against the 777 squad won't be easy. But I can't stand idly by and let the maid cafe disappear. Uh, but... I know this is a big ask, and I don't want to force your hand. I was just wondering if you could possibly help. Force my hand? Girl, you came into my room and started crying. Soda. Yeah? As of this moment, consider me your teammate. Aw, me the commander. I'm so nice. Oh my gosh! Oh wait, I've never seen this happy face before. She's so cute. She's so cute in her normal outfit that giving her a bunny suit is kind of overkill. Let's do whatever we can to keep the maid cafe up and running. Okay, wait. Don't don't cry. Thank you, master. <laughs> I'll really, really give it my all, I promise. I'll clean the commander's room right now. No. No, no, no. 
That's fine. Don't do that. I'll give you a whole bunch of coupons for the maid cafe as well. Okay, that's fine. Okay, I appreciate it. Anyway, who should we pick as our last team member? Mm. Am I gonna wear a bunny suit? That'd be pretty cool. <laughs> it's a bit of a last minute plan, but I was planning on hanging out in front of Coin Rush tomorrow. Like a scalper? <laughs> That's what I was going to do if you had said no. Oh, poor girl. <laughs> She's very desperate. What's the rationale behind that? The registration starts tomorrow, so I figured some people who are curious or had an interest in the competition might show up. If you don't have anyone particular in mind, why don't we head over to Coin Rush tomorrow and see who we can recruit? Sounds like a plan. <laughs> Great! I'll see you there tomorrow. All right, I'll be right back. Where are you? Where are you going? I've got to go get my cleaning tools. Oh yeah, that's right. She wants to clean the room. Don't worry. I'll be quiet and leave once I'm done cleaning. Oh no. <laughs> Well, wait. Ah, shit. After a while, Soda comes back with her arms full of cleaning supplies. Once the commander room is clean to her satisfaction, she heads back to her dorm, leaving my room sparkly and immaculate. Oh, I guess she did a good job. The next day. As Soda predicted, Coin Rush is filled with Nikkeis who have come to register for the event. I'm curious who else we're going to be going up against besides Blanc and Noir, as well as curious spectators. There are even some customers who intended to play some games at Coin Rush, but found themselves unable to do so due to the preparations for the event. Oh my goodness. Look at all these people. It's enough to make you dizzy. I'm not even sure where to start. Me neither. Shall we head in? <sighs> Let's do it. We start to push our way through the crowd and head inside. Thud. Ah, uh, oops, sorry. It's okay. Oh, it's her! Rouge! She uh, appeared in the, the last Bunny Girl event, and I uh, you know, she seems like she could be a cool future unit. Huh? High roller. She is totally gonna be a future unit because she already has a name for me as a commander. Oh, Rouge! It's you! It's been a while. I was wondering when I was going to see you next. I know. Why has it been a while? I like her style. She has a nice, uh, nice short haircut. Hmm. To be honest, though, this isn't really the best timing. We're accepting applications for a big event from today. So it's busier than usual. If you're looking to play some games, you might have to wait a few days. A few days? Actually, Soda and I have come to participate in the event. Really? Yeah. Oh, I see. You two must have read the fine print on the notification. <laughs> hey, she could be our third! Oh dear. The bunnies are going to be so green with envy. Are you? Are you green with envy too, huh, Rouge? What do you mean? Nothing. <laughs> At any rate, I suppose Soda is to be the team leader? Have you signed up yet? Um, not yet. We've not found our third team member yet. Hmm... That might be tough. The reason we changed the rules on team formations was to dissuade the same members from forming the usual teams. Which has always resulted in the same winners year after year. <laughs> I think this establishment is biased towards, uh, <laughs> Blanc and Noir. However, it doesn't appear to have changed as much as I hoped. You might have better luck looking for someone who initially didn't intend to participate. However, they might inherently lack the drive to be in a competition like this. Oh my gosh! Third... Third team member? Gravity! Yeah... Hug. Oh, she probably hugged me from behind. <gasps> Is Rouge jealous? I'm being hugged by a Nikkei? <laughs> Something diminutive suddenly slams into me, throwing me off balance. Alice? You know what? Now that I think about it, she is kind of short. Hey there, Ravity! I was told I might find you here. 
Really? By who? It's true. Alice, you're still here? Still here? Was she here for a long time? Mm -hmm. Thanks for your help before, by the way. Although I didn't end up finding the black or white rabbit, I did find Rabbity. Can someone please tell me what the hell's going on? <laughs> this is such a cliche line. Can someone please tell me what the hell's going on here? Hmm. I found her poking around here despite the fact she was getting pushed around by the crowd. So I asked what she was looking for. She told me she was looking for two rabbits. A black one and a white one to be precise. I mean, that's pretty clear who they are. I was told I'd be able to find them if I came here. I figured she was referring to Blanc and Noir, but they would never show their faces in such a crowded situation like this. Yeah. So I turned her away since there was no chance she'd see them today. Therefore, I'm not entirely sure what she's still doing here. <laughs> That's a fair point. So, what are you doing in the Ark, Alice? The Queen needed something, so I tagged along. She's off taking care of something on her own, so I was just looking around. <laughs> More like she wandered off. Speaking of, now that I got to fill my rabbit quota, I should probably head back to the Queen. Alice. Yes, Rabbity? Are you still interested in meeting the white and black rabbits? <laughs> you bet I am! I'd love to meet them more than anything! Then how about you team up with me and Soda here and play a game? A game? Hold on. Master, don't tell me! Aniki from Tetraline has her own clear objective, but has no desire for the golden chip herself. Alice fits the bill perfectly. I... <laughs> That was easy. Not only do I get to meet the white and black buddies, I get to play a game as well. <laughs> that sounds like a blast! Oh, right. I do have to get back to the queen, though. Wait just a moment. I'll tell Ludmilla. I take out my phone. Ludmilla, can you chat for a second? Hello, servant. <laughs> of course. What is it? Can I borrow Alice for a few days? I bet she's just gonna be like, yeah, that's fine. What for? To participate in an event at Coin Rush. Ah. I presume you're referring to the event exclusively for Tetra Line Nikkei's? I doubt Alice would have any interest in such a thing. I'd normally agree with you, but the bunny girls are involved. Bunnies, you say? That makes more sense. <laughs> well, since it's you, I'll trust you know what you're doing. I hope you can show Alice a good time. But of course, look how confident I am. Very well then. I just got permission from Lamilla. Oh, really? So I'm going to get to play with Rabbity and Twinkling Bunny? <laughs> Twinkling Bunny? Uh, what did you just call me? Twinkling Bunny? Because you're so resplendent. Wow, high praise. Well, I guess that is fitting. Considering I'm all about making my surroundings sparkly clean. I really appreciate you saying that. I think we're gonna get along just fine, you and I. They make a good pair. They're kind of the same person. <laughs> she's ditzy and clumsy and she's... simple. I think so too. Hmm. I'm glad to see that you've got yourself a complete team. Let me take you to the registration desk. Hell yeah, we are so win, team. Follow me, please. Bunch, Rouge. You made the process a real cinch. Nice. Don't mention it. Just don't forget to bring that rabbit-shaped badge you received when you registered. Bunny-shaped badge? Are we talking about that clip in the promotional material that's like right there by their hips? Interesting. Got it. So what kind Where am I going to place mine? Sorry, but we can't reveal that until the day of the event. I guess it won't be as easy to get extra hints like last time. Last time? What do you mean? Wait, she don't remember? Oh, I remember now. Are you talking about Noir and Blanc's lucky kiss? 
<laughs> yeah. Unfortunately, since actually competing ourselves this time, we can't help you. Oh, she is competing! Oh, shit! Is she gonna be in a bunny suit too? However, you know our greatest strength better than anyone else. Yeah, that I do. I have some, uh... Some in knowledge. That's right. Luck. If you could somehow find a way to turn that luck in your favor, it could become quite a close game, don't you think? Why are you why are you flirting with me? Good luck to you all. Then Yeah! Thank you! Thanks! Should we head back, Master? Hmm. Huh? Master? Rabbity? It's as Rouge said. We're up against the 777 squad. Damn. This is the final boss right here. Who has luck on their side? Luck, however, is ultimately relative. In which case, let's go. Okay. So here's the plan. I'm going to go call Blanc and Noir, and they're going to give me a luck recharge like they normally do. But instead, I'm going to drain them of all their luck and then they're not gonna have luck on their side i'm gonna have it all to myself let's go turn luck on our side huh what do you mean by that trust me i have a plan that'd be so funny if this is the actual plan <laughs> i should have figured i'm just following your lead rabbity yeah let's go alice this is our lucky color this month it's a wonderfully subtle and soft shade of green, don't you think? Yes, it's so pretty. Uh, Master? I is this what you had in mind? Now, are we shopping for bunny suits? That's right! What do you think, Soda? Don't tell me your entire plan is just... I should let you know that we have a special offer on these lucky bracelets. Oh. If you buy two, you'll get a 10% discount. 10%? I'll be losing money not to buy this. Holy moly. They're more expensive than I thought they'd be. I'll pay. Huh? <laughs> Look how happy she is. Aw. Hmm? I just received a message from an unfamiliar number. Saboteur. Congratulations. You received a lucky letter. Send it to your friends within the next four days before it expires. Oh no, it's chainmail. Don't worry about that. It's just spam. Hurry and forward it to everyone you know. Huh? <laughs> oh shit, I'm buying into the superstition. So what we got lucky bracelets. We replied to a chainmail. Oh, there's so many people on the street. Wow. Wow, it's an exhibition that you can only see once a year. What a coincidence. You're right. I'm glad I took a day off today. Yeah, lucky us. I'll take a photo and upload it to my socials. The line doesn't seem to be moving, though. Let's get in line as well. What? <laughs> oh, no. I'm, I've become crazy, guys. <laughs> Hurry! My goodness, the sun has already set. I'm not sure what that was all about, but it sure was fun. Now there's just one place left to visit. Okay, I'm game if everyone else is. Next stop, the cosplay store. Oh yeah, the cosplay store. Huh? Cosplay store? All right, let's go. Master? Hopefully it's still open. Yes, Soda? any objections to wearing this but do you really think it'll be useful soda i know i know what i'm talking about i know what i'm doing put it on it's fine of course it will in actuality i'm not entirely sure if my plan is going to work out i mean just cosplaying noir and blanc style and obsessing over every bit of luck related stuff doesn't guarantee we'll improve our luck but then again, it's hard to wrap my head around why B Noir and Blanc always seem to have the best luck. Oh, I, I mean, I've already seen the marketing material, but 
Oh, this is actually a really good look. I like it, I like it. I think should, this should just be a skin. Alice, I know, is a, is a really popular character from this series. Uh, a lot of people cosplay her. I'm actually not a big fan of Alice's style. I think it's kind of weird. But I'm a fan of this one, so that's fine. Anyways, that's the this is the badge that she has. I don't know why the cord goes inside the suit. Everyone has their theories. But it, there's a little pin here that says Alice, which is cute. What do you think? Does it look good on me? You look adorable. <laughs> you think so? <laughs> it even comes with bunny ears. <laughs> Kinda makes me wanna hop around. Alice seems to be a big fan of the bunny You're suit. Not done yet, Twinkling Bunny? I'm coming out now. It's a bit of a struggle since it's a few sizes too small. I think it's fine. Oh my goodness! Yeah, like that thing. That thing's literally about to like flop down. What do you think? Oh, she has little floating clovers. Do I look okay? Whoa! You really are shining now. You've become the brightest bunny of them all. She, I like. She chose black with black sock wings. Basically like Noir. Aw, thanks, Alice. You look really cute, too. She looks so different. Like, her face structure does not match her original form. You're like an adorable baby bunny. <laughs> These outfits are so fluffy and soft. <laughs> Soda and Alice hug each other affectionately and gush over each other. Feeling a bit out of place, I avert my gaze. I think we're done. We've done all the preparation we can for now. Oh yeah, this is more than enough, Master, Alice. I want to thank you both. It's only because of you that I was able to participate in this event. Whatever the outcome is, I'll stop right there. Uh huh. Yeah, her eyes are really different. I want to put them side by side, and I'm gonna. I feel like they're just two different characters. I think the design otherwise is great, but her face looks too different. Our goal is to win. I don't want to hear a word about being happy with anything less. Oh, so winning first place is our goal? In that case, I'll do my best. If we work together, we'll be able to do this no problem. <sighs> You're right. With you two by my side, I can do this. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I've got to keep my head held high. For the sake of the maid cafe, and to make you both proud, first place is going to be mine. Let's yes. do this. After some time, the day of the Tetra Golden Chip Showdown arrives. Oh, I thought there were already tons of folks when we signed up, but that was nothing compared to this crowd. No kidding. Loads of people have come to watch the competition. Where are we supposed to go? Hey, you guys! Over here! Oh, hey, Rouge. We make our way towards through the crowd to Rouge, who is standing in front of the security checkpoint. You can enter from this side. Only participants are allowed inside. Do we just go in? Do you have the rabbit-shaped badge you received when you registered as a participant? Yes. If you do, then yes. I got it right here, girl. So long as you wear that, none of you will have any problems entering. All right, I'll go in first. Alice skips inside. Soda and I follow Alice inside. Thanks, Rouge. Don't mention it. Have fun out there. We will. After saying well, her well wishes, Rouge disappears. Participants are allowed inside. Yeah, it's nice not getting jostled around all the time. This casino is impressive. It's kind of crazy thinking that this casino exists inside the Ark, which is in a world in a post-apocalyptic world. It seems inappropriate. <laughs> Slowly glance around my surroundings and spot a few familiar faces sitting nearby. Looks like just about everyone is participating. Oh, like other Tetra units? There's something in there that's sparkling like crazy! Uh, that's... Is that 
that Mustang's golden ship? In a display case position in front of the stage, there is a golden chip minted with Mustang's face on the front. Of course he would. Holy crap, it's the actual coin! If we can get our hands on that, we can save the maid cafe from going under. Soda. Hmm. Where do you think the black and white bunnies are? I want to meet them ASAP! They'll probably come out from the center stage. Oh, really? I'm so excited! What about you, Twinkling Bunny? I'm right there with you. I'm excited and nervous all at the same time. <sighs> she has a little pouty face. I can sense that Soda is more anxious than eager. So I'm about to offer words of support when suddenly... Click. The lights go out. Pulse pounding music begins to play. Boom, boom. Lights on the central stage burst into life, strobing in sync with the music. Under the main spotlight is a familiar figure. Bonjour, my lovely girls! At the Tetra Lion song. And a warm welcome to all those who have come to see this spectacle! Say, and tell ten balls! Whoa! We're back again for another year of fun and games! Mm, that's right, it's the one and only. Petra Golden Chip Showdown! <laughs> this time around, we've gone all out and prepared special air room for all participants! So, everyone, be my guest! Feast, revel, and frolic to your heart's content at Coin Rush! Boom, 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 the music. Whoa. It's getting real now. Wow, what a presentation! Hmm. The first game will commence tonight. Already? Until then, take the time to get to know everyone around you. And familiar say yourself of that coin rush. Feel free to quench your thirst with some of our delicious beverages as well. Mm, all right then, until I return, enjoy your free time, and always remember, and tell them all! <laughs> Click. Arg, my eyes! Oh, I guess the, the room just turned, <laughs> turned bright again. The lights return to normal, and Mustang is nowhere to be seen. Boss always knows how to make an entrance. <sighs> Oh, why is she crying? I didn't get to see either of the bunnies. Oh my gosh. I'm sure you'll be able to see them in the evening when the game starts. You think so? Of course. Alright. Then I'll have to be patient, I guess. Yeah. Speaking of which, we have quite a bit of free time on our hands. Oh, right. What should we do until the game begins? Hmm... I feel like we should mingle. At a glance, I noticed Talentum and Prima Donna on the first floor, while Protocol and Cafe Sweetie have gone up to the second floor. It might be a good idea to go to one of the floors and chat with them. Oh shit! Damn! Oh no! This is one of those hard choices! Uh. Let's go to the second floor. The second floor? This is your first time at Coin Rush, isn't it? Yeah. It's massive, and all these flashing lights make it hard to figure out where to start. Flashing lights? These lights may be dazzling, but they don't hold a candle to you! Aww. Oh, wow! Thank you for saying that! Dang. What a line. <laughs> it's easy to get lost in here, so why don't we explore the second floor together? We can talk to some of the other Nikkeis. And maybe dig up some juicy details about the other teams. <laughs> oh, she's playing the game. Let's go, Soda. I see you. That's a good idea. Ooh, so I get to wander around and explore with you guys? Yippee! Yes, Alice, we're on the same team. I'm so happy. We can also keep an eye out for the black and white bunnies at the same time. Can we really? Ah, oh, this is so exciting! <laughs> 
Okay, okay. Alice is actually kind of charming. I usually don't really pay too much mind to her. Let's head upstairs. We decided to explore co the Coin Rush's second floor, where the Game Zone and Drink Zone are located. Although we have a fair bit of time, we may not have quite enough to explore both areas properly. Let's check out the Game Zone since it's closer. Inside, there are rows of gaming consoles neatly arranged. In the midst of it, a large table stands, its expanse filled with an array of gaming paraphernalia. Wow! This must be where everyone comes for their gaming fix. I'm not too sure, but it definitely looks interesting. Next time, I should come here with Queen! That might not be the best idea, considering her situation with electronics. Oh yeah, that's true. Huh? Does she not know? I think I see someone gaming. Oh. She must be a participant as well, right? Off in the corner, I see a familiar figure. Who is it, Exia? Having a passionate gaming session. Mm -hmm. Oh, hey, hello. Oh, and she's wearing her cool outfit. I like this outfit. I'd recognize that voice anywhere. Hey there, newbie. Watson? Oh shit. Oh yeah, I forgot they're in the same squad. It's you! Gah! You startled me. Novel, who has been crouching on the ground out of sight, suddenly leaps up and stares at me. Well, well. Look who decided to pop up out of nowhere. This is a most interesting turn of events. This calls for my powers of deduction. Okay. The fact that Watson is here means he must be participating in the upcoming event. Oh, okay, Sherlock. But that can't be possible <laughs> since he's neither a part of Tetra nor a Nike. Therefore, the only conclusion is that Watson has trespassed into this area. I like how she says she's accusing me of a crime with that big old smile on her face and twinkles in her eyes. What do you think of my deduction, Exia? It is precisely as I expected. Now's not the time for games, but for gathering intel on the other teams. I'm afraid you're off base. You can have a team member who is neither affiliated with Tetra nor a Nikkei. She would read everything. Huh? Is that so? Very well then. Considering these new clues, I can only deduce that these three before me are on the same team. What say you, Exia? Well... I think you're pointing out the obvious at this point. You can at least try to guess who the team leader is. Uh. Alright then! Novel leans her face in close to Alice and Soda. Hmm. on her face, while Alice appears more at ease. Therefore, I conclude that Alice is the team leader. Man, maybe you shouldn't pride yourself as being a detective. What say you? Um, oh dear, did I guess incorrectly? Yeah. Anyways, what are you two doing here? As Change the subject. See, we are playing a game. We were about to move around to gather information on the other teams. Hold up. Isn't it supposed to be one team leader and two additional members? Where's your third team member? You see, Exia? They're trying to gather intel on us. She is on the first floor. All the heat coming from the machines made her feel uncomfortable. Oh. <laughs> How can you reveal such precious information to them? <laughs> hey. Y'all are in my outpost. I know everything about you guys. <laughs> What's the point of being so secretive about it? They'll see who she is when the match starts anyway. Oh, right. Then they must have come here to obtain other information from us. Why are you all participating in the competition? All sorts of incidents are bound to happen at this kind of event. So, being a detective, I've come here to conduct a preliminary investigation of the crime scene to be. I'm seeing the big. I'm here because I think games are fun. Yeah, that's an Exia answer right there. Well, we came here to win. Ooh, <laughs> Alice. I hope it works out for you. Yeah, thank you, Novel. <laughs> Thanks. Wait, 
Does that mean you two don't care about winning? Novel and I aren't particularly bothered about it. But our team leader on the first floor probably cares a great deal. She practically begged us to join her. If they're both team members, then their team leader must be from another squad. Who could it be? I wonder. Huh? Can we go over there? Alice points at the drink zone on the opposite side. We're starting to run low on time, so moving on might be a good idea. Alright, let's go. Are you going to explore other areas? If you happen to see anything suspicious, be sure to let me know. We will. Will do. Probably not. <laughs> good luck to you, Alexia. And good luck to you too with your investigation novel. Ah, so supportive. After leaving the game zone, we arrive at the drink zone. Inside, there are various drinks and an array of opulent glasses. Numerous chairs have been set up so that you can sit down and comfortably enjoy your drink. Wow. Nice. They even have welcome drinks here. According to this note, each participant can enjoy a glass. And the drink is supposed to be sweet and sour. Sounds delicious. Let's try it. All of us take a glass and have a sip. Oh no, Alice! <laughs> so sour! I'm salivating! <laughs> oh girl. It seems a bit too sour for your taste, Alice. You can also order whatever drink you'd like from the bar over there. I'm sure there's something there Alice would be a fan of. As we approach the bar, I notice familiar silhouettes from afar. Why is it rhyme? <laughs> As we get closer, I realize who it is I'm looking at. Cafe Sweetie? Hmm. Oh boy. Only one person would address us with such a sweet voice. Are you flirting with me? Don't be ridiculous. What? How? I never thought I'd see you here. There's a lot of Nikkeis here that I'm not used to hearing voice. It's kind of crazy. Hey, tired. So you all are participating as well. Of course. This could be an excellent opportunity to give Black Typhoon a new makeover. What are you talking about? We already agreed that we'd make a sparring arena inside the cafe. Oh boy. No, oh, king-sized bed. Oh gosh, here we go again. It sounds like you didn't agree on anything. Me, leader. You may be the squad leader, but I'm the team leader for this event. Huh? I thought I was the team leader. <sighs> Bummer. Girls, girls, girls. Let keep arguing. It uh, it will work to our advantage. I'm leader. I can't with you two. Fight, fight. Um, <laughs> excuse me. What? What do you want? Hey, 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 hey! Watch your tone. You don't talk to Soda like um, that. Can you tell me what you're drinking? It looks delicious. <laughs> yeah, they don't look sour at all. They smell super sweet. Very nice. You two have a good eye for quality. I'm drinking sugar coffee with just the right amount of sugar added. <laughs> just the right, meaning half. What are you talking about? They're clearly asking about the milk coffee that I'm drinking. The milk is what gives it that creamy smoothness. Cream coffee. Lots of cream. Sweet, smooth, the best. Uh, I, I think I'll try the cream coffee. Good choice. I'm a big fan of dairy, so I'll go for a milk coffee. Very smart. Here you are. Ah, uh, rip sugar. Hmm. Uh oh. Okay, I'm the. I'm gonna be the nice one, the diplomatic one. Uh, I think I'll try the sugar coffee. I knew I could count on your impeccable taste. <laughs> I like sugar. Partner. Mm. Sip. <laughs> As I thought, it's sickeningly sweet. By the way, partner, are you teamed up with these two? Yes, that's right. Is that so? Is that a problem? The thrill of competition where men and women go head to head in close quarters. Where are, you, where, are you, where are you going with this, Sugar? How exciting. I can't tell if she's being sarcastic, but she's also blushing. 
Well, we have no intention of pulling any punches, so this competition will be done fair and square. The three of you will have to bring your A-game. Huh? Okay! You're here to win after all! Very nice! I like your determination. Oh yeah, that's right. Milk is the, uh, the competitive one. You must be the team leader. Um, actually... I'm the team leader. Oh, really? Then you have to be more confident. You can't be shriveling in the corner like that. Er, okay. Although Cafe Sweetie may first appear quite chaotic, they are highly proficient at problem solving and thinking on their feet. Also, Soda appears more deflated than usual, so we have to stay on our toes. How about we head back to the first floor? Oh, sure, I suppose. Sounds good! Are you all heading back down? Yeah, we just said that. Th yeah, thanks for the coffee. If I drink from the same cup that you took a sip from, would that be considered as indirect kissing? Sh sugar! <laughs> I didn't... I didn't realize you had the sight on you. Would you shut your yap? Anyway, see you all later. And yes, to answer your question, it would be indirect kissing sugar. <sighs> They're going to be down to two team members because Freema's going to be asleep. As we wrap up our initial exploration of Coin Rush, we head back to the main hall on the first floor. I want to see what happens if you click on the first choice. So I'm going to click on this one again. Might be a good idea to go to one of the floors and chat with them. All right. So we reloaded this so that we can see this, the second option. So I chose the second floor the first time. Now I'm going to check the first floor. It's easy to get lost in here. So why don't we explore the first floor together? We can talk to some of the other Nikkei's. And maybe dig up some juicy details about the other teams. That's a good idea. I like the sound of sticking together, too! Let's wander around together! Twinkling Bunny! Gravity! Sure thing. I slowly survey my surroundings. In front of us is a massive stage that Blanc Noir normally perform on. Along with the equally gargantuan disco ball. Amidst the bustling crowd, I can't help but notice the many familiar faces scattered throughout. While we may have a fair amount of time, it won't be enough to speak to everyone. Talentum seems to be the closest squad to us, so let's start with them. So the strategy this time is... Oh, what? Damn. I mean, I have her skin, but it's this is top tier. I remember when they released this, she was the first gotcha skin. I don't even use Rupee anymore, but man, this is top tier just like crowns a gotcha skin is top tier i mean it better be considering it's gotcha huh wait a second Rupi, would you please stop interrupting me no it's not that isn't that sweetie coming over to us sweetie hi Rupi. whoa it's a golden bunny huh hey guys I'm surprised to see you here. I forgot she has a, a Western accent. The fact that you're here must mean. Oh, hi, Dala. You're participating with a team. Wait, how does that work? You're not even with Tetra, and certainly not a Nike. There was some fine print in the notification. Dala would read that. One team member can be anyone you want. Really? Darn. I hate the idea of going up against you, honey. Are you teaming up with Soda and Alice? Yes, Soda is our team leader. So you're participating under the maid for your banner. I heard that they were going through some tough times. Looks like you're aiming for a big payoff. Hey, hey, Dala. What the hell? How intrusive. <laughs> I guess no information gets past her. She probably would have that kind of shady information, I suppose. Nothing gets past this girl. Uh, you know about that? Yeah, how, how do you know about this? Of course. Information is the most valuable thing you can possess in this business. Are you all after the Tetra chip as well? Naturally. 
Once we win this competition, I'm going to ask Mustang for a significant payout. You can never have enough money, and I'm sorely lacking in it. Oh boy. These guys are going to be very competitive. Plus, if there's anyone on this planet who can supply me with fat stacks of cash, it's Mustang. Exactly. Although, if we do get first place, there's liable to be infighting amongst ourselves. Yeah, fight! Yeah, that's right. Yeah, you know. Argue some more, guys. You need to figure out who gets the money. I see that you're dressed in a buddy theme today, Ruby. That's right. I always wear this outfit whenever I do a live stream at Coin Rush. Lupin simply can't get enough of it. I can hardly blame them. It looks great. Why, thank you. Are you planning to live stream here? She just said. Of course. I better not see myself show up in anything. I retain all rights to my likeness. Damn, Yan. Likewise. Don't be ridiculous. I wasn't planning on filming either of you from the start. Oh, oh, infighting, infighting. <laughs> Use that to our advantage. True to form, Talentum is composed of big and bold personalities, but when the situation calls for it, they're capable of acting like a remarkably well-oiled machine. By the way, client. Yes? You came to see us as soon as you had a free moment. Are you scoping us out? Nothing gets past this girl. What? Uh, good dollar, but no, no, it's nothing like that. Wow, so we seem like pushovers then. Is that it? <laughs> oh, girl, it's on. We're gonna win and you guys are gonna lose. We're gonna point and laugh. No, 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 no. Hmm. I don't think Soda or Alice have been to Coin Rush. I presume what he's doing is showing them around the place and get in better sense of who's participating while they do so. Maybe it wasn't a good idea to come to the first floor. Isn't that right? Yen yeah, sure is sharp. We need to be on our toes. Well, whatever the reason may be, I'm glad you came to see me, sweetie. Aww, I can count on Rupee being sweet to me. However... Ah, uh, never mind. Even if it is you, I won't go easy on you. Oh, gosh. Look at this skin! It's distracting. <laughs> We're going to give it our all regardless. That's it. I'm wearing a bunny suit. I'm going to distract them back. I'm looking forward to how this pans out. Me too. Yeah, yeah you know what? We won't go easy on you either. A conversation with Townsend draws so close. Oh, there are way more rabbits here than I thought there would be. I'm on cloud nine right now. Where are we going next? Are there going to be more rabbits there as well? Only one way to find out. Let's go. Okay. Okay. With a swift glance, I spot Prima Donna off in the distance. Hey. This is my, this is my first time seeing Arya in anything. I don't think they use her for anything. <laughs> I don't even have her as a unit either. Oh, hey, Volume. I'm the leader. Didn't we all agree to that? That may be true. That's what she sounds like? But that doesn't mean you can push us around. Pushing you around? Don't you think that's a bit harsh? <sighs> I like, oh, Noise is one of my favorites, and I like how she's like, ah, sick of this Team. I'm already getting tired of this. What are y'all up to? Huh? Producer? What are you doing here? Are you here to cheer us on? I'm so touched. No, that can't be it. Oh? Only participants can enter this area. So Maestro must have joined one of the teams. Oh, really? She's upset. Is that even possible? Who's the team leader? Oh! That would be me! <laughs> really? Doesn't seem like a team we should be worried about. Dog! Oh! You know what, Volume? Oh my gosh. I knew it. I knew she was gonna be a bully. I'm gonna wipe that smug off your- smug- Smug- Smile off your face. <gasps> no, Soda, don't listen to her. She doesn't know what she's talking about. She thinks she's a rapper. <laughs> 
Oh, damn it! So we have to compete against producer? Seems like it. Why are you all participating in this competition? For the sake of our future performances. Of course, we're more than capable of staging an amazing performance on our own. But if we have Mustang's backing, we could take things to a whole other level. Ah, shit. Exactly. They have proper motivation. With Mustang's golden chip, we can put on a performance that will be the talk of the town. Ah, oh, she sounds like a like a super proper lady. She just sounds very uppity. Plus, the competition itself is a blast. If we win, we're gonna make it so the next competition centers around hip hop. That way, no one else would stand a chance against us. <sighs> <laughs> Noise is like, what the f I didn't I didn't agree with that. <sighs> Neither Zarya. There seems to be some internal strife within Prima Donna. There's internal strife in all these teams. We got this. However, with each one demonstrating such formidable strength individually, it's clear they cannot be under underestimated. Anyway, I understand you must have good reasons for participating, but I have no intentions of going easy on you. Uh, after all I've done for you, Noise, this is how you talk to me, your number one fan? I look forward to an exhilarating match. We don't expect you to go soft on us either. Oh, believe me, I ain't soft. Good luck. Same to you. Our conversation with Prima Donna draws to a close. Phew. I didn't realize any... I didn't really do anything, but I feel like my energy has been depleted. Mm -hmm. Oh, now her feelings are hurt. Soda also seems a bit morose. Soda, are you alright? Huh? Oh, yeah. Of course. Coin Rush sure seems like a fun and exciting place. And so big. That's what she said. Thanks for accompanying me, you guys. I had fun too. I'm still a bit bummed that I didn't get to see the black and white bunnies. I thought for sure we'd run into one of them. <sighs> Hold on. I think I see bunny ears in front of the stage over there. Do you think it might be them? Huh? Where? Oh my gosh, you're right! It's them! Alice breaks into a run. I follow Alice, thinking that Blanc Noir must be must have arrived. Huh? Much to my surprise, it is Folk Wang and Mary who are dressed up as bunnies. Hell yeah! Holy shit! I didn't even notice this part. Look, at, she's practically sweating her ass off in these stockings. I think her animation is that she pours it on herself. But damn, that's hot. Also married though. She is not slacking. Look at this outfit. I want to check out the Mary skin. All right, so. Now this is a bunny suit. Zoom in a little bit, you know? Oh look, she also has that weird cable thing that Soda and Alice have. Do you think younger patients will get a kick out of this bunny outfit? <laughs> I'm only joking. Mary. You're trying to expose yourself to the children? Damn! All right. Yes. I approve. Folkwang? Mary? Oh. Hi, Coach. Hmm? Commander, are you participating in the competition too? Yes. I was gonna ask you the same thing. No. I'm here as a member of the medical staff. What? What? We don't want anyone getting injured after all. And you're wearing that? <laughs> I would I wouldn't mind having that kind of medical staff, but I am in, I'm injured. <laughs> what kind of a game are you going to be playing? <laughs> what kind I'm of game are we sure. going to be playing? As for me, I'm participating. Epinel and Rumani aren't terribly interested in this kind of thing. So I asked Protocol to join me. Interesting. I want to win this thing so I can ask for a portable air conditioner. Girl, I could just buy you that. <laughs> uh, it's like a sauna in here. I see. My goodness. So many people have shown up. Wowzer! Slippery Bunny. 
And Dr. Bunny. <laughs> Dr. Bunny. When did you two become rabbits? Eh? You mean the clothes? Oh, it's so sweltering in here that I was drenched in sweat just moments after arriving. So I went to ask if they could turn on the AC. Instead, they recommended that I wear this outfit. <laughs> you know what? She could be just like butt naked and she still would be sweating her ass off. Nothing. She is never not hot. This outfit is designed for Blanc and Noir to beat the heat. Since they always perform under scorching stage lights. They're definitely way cooler than what I was wearing before. I'll tell you that much. You need to pick better clothes. I guess there's nothing I can do about this heat, though. As for me, I just wore it to brighten the mood. My mood sure is brighten. I think it's the perfect outfit for someone working at Coin Rush. It's, I would, it's a step up, actually. Like, shoot. It's, like, more revealing. What do you think? Does it look good on me? Uh... Do I get to say something? Oh boy, so many rabbits everywhere! Come to think of it, you two are wearing the same outfit too. Oh yes, that's right. Master gave us these outfits because they're bestowed with good luck. <laughs> you you believe that, Soda. Believe in the luck. You look great. Anyway, I would like to emphasize once more the importance of safety to everyone. Hmm, you might need to tell that to the other teams. They're about to fight each other. Whatever game you end up playing, be safe and don't get yourself hurt out there. Okay, Mary. We've set up a temporary infirmary inside. So if you feel unwell or out of sorts, just head over there. Will do! So, Soda, you're the team leader, right? That's right. I know I may not look it, but I am. Yeah, girl. You tell yourself that. You are the leader of our squad. <laughs> all right. Give it your all, everyone. I'll be cheering you all on. Anyway, it seems like it's about to start soon. So I'll head inside. See you later! <sighs> if Mary said the competition is about to start, then that means... Skeptically, all of us turn towards the stage in unison. Oh. He's just standing there. Mustang has already taken to the stage, though we don't know when he got there. Hello He's a ninja. Again. Free time is up now. Oh boy. Did everyone make good use of your time? Next, I would like everyone to gather in the main hall. The scattered participants all slowly start taking their seats in front of the stage. Trip. Now, before we start the game, allow me to present there the winners from last year, the 777 squad. Come on out, my lucky girls. Oh, here they are. Click. The lights go out and in their place, a lone spotlight illuminates the stage, shining on Rouge, Blanc, and Noir, who have been there from, from who knows when. Hello. I'm the Lucky Bunny Blanc. And I'm the Lucky Bunny Noir. Hello, I'm your Game Master. Oh. Rouge. Game Master, isn't that cheating? Isn't there a conflict of interest here? Allow me to explain the rules of this golden ship showdown. Hmm? The games we have prepared will be played by all the teams, all exception of 777. Oh. Okay, so they're sitting out. The games will be conducted in an elimination tournament. This will continue until only one team is left. At which point, they will have the honor of challenging the 777 squad. Wait, what? They don't have to participate? They just need to defend their championship? That's not fair. The final game remains a mystery to everyone, even those in 777. The team leader of whichever group wins the final game will be given the key of turns. What's all this talk about a key all of a sudden? 
I can already hear the questions formulating in your minds. So let me explain. Okay. As you can all see, there is a display with the golden chip in front of the principal stage. The key which can open this display is the very same key which will be bestowed upon the winner. Ah, I get it. Whoever receives that key will be able to open the display and claim the golden chip. Good job, Soda. Which team will have the honor <laughs> of challenging us? Oh. Only time will tell. We'll be waiting for you and cheering you all on. We wish you all the best of luck. Oh, it's them. It's really them. If we win, we get to see them up close, right? Yes. That's right. Yeah, yeah, Alice. That's why we have to win. All right. Then I'll do whatever I can do to win. I want to get folded together with them more than anything. <laughs> Let's do our best. Everyone. Let's do this. And with that, mesdames and messieurs, let the games come at All right, so the next one is this one. All right, story mode. Oh, so this was the arcade. Let's do it. First up, we have... Uh, dot, dot, Oh. Damn. Huh? Oh no, we're so screwed. Seriously? Lucky! Oh shit. With the notable exception of our team, whispers ripple through all the other teams due to the unexpected game. Mm -hmm. Oh no, Soda. I thought it would be a game that might require some thinking. But that's not the case at all. Are we going to have a race? Sounds like fun! Since this is the premiere game, we've prepared something light as a warm-up. Each member of the team will run a lap around the main hall with the baton before passing it to their next teammate. Okay. The first team to finish wins. Am I? Am I in this? Am I running? Am I doing the obstacle course too? This should go without saying, but the slowest team is disqualified. As for which team you will be facing, you may check the tournament bracket here. Boss, I have a question. I already know what it will be, and no. <laughs> She's like, no, you can't use her f***ing motorcycle. You'll not Authorize it to ride Black Typhoon during the race. <sighs> oh. I have a question as well. Didn't you say this is an obstacle course? Where are the obstacles? Mmm, unbell question indeed. Mm, Promete moi to show you right now. Snap. The whole freaking place is gonna change. As Mustang raises his hands and snaps his fingers, a myriad of hurdles descend from the ceiling. Wow. We're... What is this? Wow, there! This is way more epic than I thought it'd be. <laughs> Wowzer, this is way more epic than I thought it'd be. That is a... That is a screenshot right there. How fascinating! I shouldn't mention that if you collide with or stumble over a hurdle, say on elimination instant 10! Wow. Everybody understand? <laughs> Excellent! <laughs> then please decide on the order in which your team will run. I'll give you five minutes. Uh, what order do you think we should run in, Master? Uh, first, let's check the tournament bracket. All the teams are gathered in front of the tournament bracket. Oh, darn. We gotta buy? Too bad. I was looking forward to running. Oh, what? That stinks. That's fine with me. It would have been meaningless to run without Black Typhoon. Okay, sugar. <sighs> Damn. This could have this could have worked out. Fremo would be asleep. And this girl doesn't know how to do anything without her motorcycle. Cafe Sweetie advances without it having to compete. Then what about us? We're up against Talentum. 
Oh, oh, we're... <laughs> Those... That team, they're not... They're not athletic. It won't be easy. Although, it doesn't seem like running would be Townsend's forte. We can't let our guard down. Let's decide the running order. All right. Okay. Hmm, is anyone confident in their running ability? Ooh, that makes sense. Wait, I'm a human. Isn't this kind of a disadvantage? Because these are Nikkei's. They're all like stronger and faster than I can be. Uh, I'm not really confident when it comes to running. Still, your physical attributes far surpass a human. So let's go with Alice first. Followed by Soda, then I'll take up the rear. Wait, I'm the anchor? I feel like that's a bad idea. Even if we hit a hurdle, we have to hold out as long as possible before being eliminated. The other teams may end up making a mistake before we do. Since I'm the one who's most likely to trip over those hurdles, me running last is a sound strategy. Okay, sounds good. Are you okay with going up first, Alice? I should be the second person, but whatever. <laughs> sure! I'm all about running. Can I start now? Uh, not yet. You've got to stand over there and wait until they give you the signal to start. Mm hmm Also, when you're running, make sure to hold on to this baton tightly. After completing one lap, you need to pass it on to me. Hmm. All right. The instructions are simple enough. Alice should be able to do it. Whatever you do, don't drop the baton. Got it. I feel a bit uneasy about all this, but we don't have any other choice. With that, we have Alice as our lead runner. Hey, rookie. Hey, Yan. You don't seem like you've been hitting the gym all that much lately. Did you see the bracket? Just as we're stretching before the race begins, Talentum approaches us. Yeah. So we're going head to head right at the very beginning. Oh boy, so you're who we're going up against? Are they, is she gonna run in those heels? Though, the one thing about uh, Soda and Alice bunny outfits is that they have comfy shoes. <laughs> Which order are you running in, Alice? Wait. Hey, hey, don't, don't, don't say anything. Don't say anything. Me? I'm going up first. Aw, oh, darn. It would have been nice if we could have run against each other. I decided to run last. Then you'll be running up against me, Rupee. Really? <laughs> That's even better. <laughs> you don't have to smile so much about okay. it. Your five minutes are up! We will now proceed here in order according to the bracket. Alright. After some time has passed and the other teams are done with their races, it's finally our turn. Alright. Please stand on the starting line. Allison and Dala take their positions on the starting line. You've got this, Alice! Bring it home, Alice! Ready? Set? On Mustang Signal, the obstacle race begins. Ah, uh, here we go! Is this... Are there any other controls? I'm just clicking, right? Is that supposed to be soda? Easy peasy. Thanks to Alice's remarkable speed, our team has a solid lead. Soda has almost completed her lap and is, and is heading my direction. All she has to do is pass the baton to me, and then after which I just have to take it slow and steady. What? Why would I take it slow and steady? Phew! Soda has unconsciously gotten so close to me that I can't even hear her breathing. I try to calm my racing heart. As the panting soda draws near, I extend my hand and prepare to receive the baton. Hang in there, soda, just a bit longer. Come on, you're a Nika, you can do this. No, just then, soda's hand gives out and her grip of the baton loosens. In a frantic attempt to grab the baton, I stop and reach back behind me. Wait, what? Thud. What did I just grab? Crash. 
Ouch! Ooh, okay. What a view. What a view. <laughs> Was she holding the selfie stick the entire time? Master, Rupee, are you okay? Ugh. Rupee and I have fallen in a heap on the ground. I vaguely sensed something hitting my arm before I fell. What is that something? Oh my goodness. You're not hurt, are you, sweetie? I don't think so. Well, that's a relief. Oh, okay. Hold on. Since we both fell, who won? I almost forgot. Don't worry, Lupins. I know I must have given you quite a scare just now, but I'm perfectly fine, so don't worry. <laughs> He's too focused on live streaming. If anything, rather than being injured, I'm more afraid of being scolded by Dala and Yan. Don't tell me you were live streaming while running. <laughs> of course I was. My fans want to see me run. Unfortunately, I took a tumble as soon as Jan gave me the baton. So I didn't get to show them much. <sighs> <sighs> what did you say? Who wanted to see what? Huh? You were really booking it out there, Jan. You bet I was. Unfortunately, due to a certain someone, it didn't amount to much of anything. Dang. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Way to mess everything up for your team, Rupee. So, what's the result? We win. Why don't you get up and see for yourself? <laughs> Yan, is, Yan is so pissed. Uh, well... Master, take my hand. <laughs> Slap her ass. Just putting that out there. Yo, hey, yo, let me see. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll hide. I'll hide the text. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Thanks. Rupee and I stand up before turning to Mustang. Yacht. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> we have two players who have fallen at once. It happened in the blink of an eye. Fortunately, we were able to review <laughs> the, the replay instantly thanks to the cameras we've set up. Care to explicate to the people, Rouge? Certainly. We've installed cameras to film and repurpose your performances into a coin rush game. The application covered this, so we won't be fielding any questions about it. I don't care, Skip. This is the first I've heard of this. Let's summarize what occurred. First, Soda I lost don't her grip on the baton. Soda lost grip on her baton. Ah, uh, Soda! You messed it everything you messed in everything up! Commander then turned around in order to grab the baton, thus colliding with the selfie stick that Rupee was holding. At that exact moment, Rupee tripped on the hurdle, which caused both of them to fall. So that was it. It turns out that what hit my arm before was Rupee's selfie stick. Oh, what? I thought I'd grab something else. Mm, our final verdict is thus. As the selfie stick is what first made contact with the hurdle, Rupee's team is disqualified. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, get wrecked, other team. Oh. Hell yeah. Oh boy, I'm in big trouble. Yes, you are. Uh... Zing. In a flash, the hurdles ascend to the ceiling, restoring the main hall to its original state. And with that, our first game as Tamane! <laughs> bunnies gonna make me go feral. Well, there are a ton of bunnies in this story. You'll see. The eliminate team may choose to stay, inspectate, or leave the area. Before the second game starts tomorrow, you all have some free time to enjoy! Oh, oh we will! I should also mention that this obstacle course has been reconstructed in the game zone on the second floor, where it can be replayed at your leisure! We hope you find it intriguing! Mm, I hope you all have an exceptional night at Coin Rush! <laughs> Until 
Amidst the extravagant music, Mustang descends into the depths beneath the stage. Dot dot dot. That was a close call. But we were able to make it through the first game. I'm so sorry, sweetie. Uh, I mean, don't be, because we won, so. GG. There's plenty of good artwork out there, I'll tell you that. I didn't mean to hit you with my selfie stick. That's what I should be saying to you. You're not hurt, are you? Apologizing to him is all well and good, Ruby. But don't you have anything to say to us? <laughs> oh, oh you in trouble, girl. I'm sorry. I didn't know this would happen. <sighs> What's done is done. I'm just glad no one got hurt. No, you're not. You're still salty. I'm leaving you to calculate the damages caused by this incident. Uh, but damages? We hardly expected to be eliminated in the first round. Aren't you being a bit harsh? None of this would have happened if you just agreed to film me. Or put it put it on Oh, look how look how pouty she is. That's the first time I've seen this face. Film. You could have put it on a tripod, girl. We were running in the race as well. Why would I have had time to film you? Let's move on from this. Don't piss me off any more than you already have. <laughs> Ruined. This wasn't a solo competition, but a team effort, Ruby. <laughs> Running out there with a selfie stick was beyond foolish. You're right. Now, now. Oh, hey, Mary. <laughs> the three of you can discuss this elsewhere. Commander, would yes? you come over here for a moment? Oh yeah, yeah. I got a, I got a little boo boo that I need you to check out. Holy blue. <laughs> huh? Me? Yes. Oh, okay, okay. I, uh, yeah. Whatever you say, Mary. Huh? I'll come along too. Me too. Oh uh, yeah. Okay, you guys can come with me too. Well, uh, no, I'll be back. <laughs> hey, I, I want some alone time. No, 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 no. I'll be back in a minute. You both stay there. Okay, please be careful. Be careful. I'm I'm walking off with the doctor. What's there to be careful about? If anything, I'm even safer. I leave Alice and Soda behind, and follow Mary to the infirmary. No. Oh, we're in the infir in the infirmary. I I just think it's funny that she decides to wear this. Please take off your shirt. Already. Uh, yes, ma'am. Excuse me? You had quite a fall out there. So, I presume you must still be in a fair bit of pain. Yes, I'm in so much pain. Please examine me thoroughly. <gasps> oh. Is that a is that a medical technique you're doing? Mary gently pokes my left shoulder. Sending bolts of sharp pain sh to shoot through my arm. At least she knew where the pain was. I'm sure you felt that, right? Oh, yeah. Now take off your shirt so I can check your injuries. I want to make sure there aren't any underlying issues. Ooh. Da, da, da. I cautiously remove my shirt. Hmm. Let's oh. see. Oh, she's closer. She's closer. I don't see any major damage. Just a moment. What are you going to do to me? Mary continues to poke and prod around my shoulder area. Mm. There does seem to be a minor muscle injury from the impact. Uh, it's fine. Let's rub a little dirt on it. It's fine. It shouldn't pose a problem for daily activities, but you should avoid anything strenuous, or they might aggravate the injury. Is she going to tell me to to dip out of the competition? Your doctor. She's my doctor? My recommendation is that you bow out of the game here. Hey, well, but Mary! No! <laughs> I knew it! Unless you're gonna suggest a different activity, I think we're gonna stay in the race. I can't do that, Mary. <laughs> I knew you would say that. Oh, she's gonna tranquilize me and drag me out. Very well. Then promise me one thing. <laughs> that you won't push yourself too hard. I promise. Mary and I make a pinky promise. You better keep your promise. 
Or else. Or else what, huh? What? For now, I'll wrap you with the pressure bandage to mitigate the pain. Don't worry, that won't be necessary, Mary. <laughs> Is it because you're afraid Soda and Alice might get worried seeing you like that? That's Pretty why much. you insisted on coming to see me on your own. I mean, fair point. Fine. I'll wrap it so that it won't be obvious to the naked eye. It might end up getting worse if I don't address it at all. Are, are the other games similar to the one we just did? <laughs> <laughs> Is she gonna laugh like that every single time? Like... Like, she's just straight up flirting with me at this point. I don't know the details. But the fact that they felt it was necessary for me to be here should tell you something. Ah. Just a moment. Huh? As I'm worrying about the upcoming games, Mary leans in close to wrap the bandage around my shoulder and chest. I don't know where to direct my gaze, and I'm out of and out of sheer nervousness, I blur out the first thing that comes to my mind. Oh shit, what did I say? <laughs> uh, 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 are those clothes not uncomfortable? Uh -huh. Oh, you mean this bunny costume? <laughs> it's not uncomfortable by any means, but it does feel a bit plain. Plain is not the word I would use to describe that outfit. In fact. I find it quite comfortable since there's not much material to get in the way. To get in the way of what? Even considering wearing this back at the hospital since uh, a kid like Alice is also such a fan of it. Yeah, no, I wouldn't suggest that. I think last I remember there were kids at that hospital, so no. I mean, it'd probably be popular, but no. Don't do it, don't do it, Mary. Come again? <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. Okay. This girl. Uh, that should do the trick with your bandage. I've wrapped them quite thinly, so they shouldn't be noticeable. This goes without saying, but you should refrain from using your left shoulder too much. You've got to keep your promise not to overexert yourself. Or what, Mary? What are you gonna do, huh? If you continue to feel pain or discomfort, be sure to see me straight away. Ah. Uh. I will. Thank you, Mary. I put my shirt back on, then head out of the infirmary. The moment I stepped out of the infirmary, Soda and Alice rushed towards Is me. Is everything okay, Master? Why did Mary call you over so suddenly? You're not injured, are you? What? Gravity's hurt? Where? Are you in a lot of pain? She was just... Guys, guys. She was just checking me to make sure I was okay. I'm perfectly fine. <sighs> That's a relief. Um, I'm sorry, Master. It's all my fault. None of this would have happened if I'd held on to the baton. Uh, how is this your fault? Sweetie is right. If the blame should be pinned on anyone, it should be me. Yeah, that's right, Rupee. Okay, no, no harm, right? You know, we still we we still chill, right, Rupee? <gasps> hey, Golden Bunny! Hi, Alice. I heard you were sent to the infirmary. <laughs> oh, look how concerned her face is. Are you sure you're okay? I'm positive. Okay, good. I just got back from getting chewed out by Dala and Yan. I know I was there. I didn't consider how dangerous it would be carrying around that selfie stick during the race. <laughs> <laughs> Your girl just own up to it. You you you're committed to the live stream. Just just own it. It's fine. That's you. That's you. That's you're doing you. So I want to apologize to you all once again. Ruby bows her head to us. It's okay. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. We won. <laughs> on that note, I've decided to remain here and cheer you all on. Okay. Yeah, you could stay. You could stay, Ruby. Our team? Yep. Are you sure it's not because you want to live stream? Aw, be nice. I am being nice! Sure, it's true that continuing to stream is important. But honestly, I think it's way more fun to stay in here and cheer for a team. Don't you agree? 
I agree because it's it's our team that you're cheering for. However, that means you all have to win first place for me, okay? We will. Uh... Come on, Soda. We will. Just say it. You betcha! Don't worry. We've got this in the bag! <laughs> I like your confidence. Why are you so intent on winning? So that I can see the black and white bunnies! <laughs> you want to get a photo together with them? Alright then. You all have got to win so that Alice gets her precious group photo. And Soda can get what she wants as well. I'll be on the sidelines, cheering you all on. Good luck! Thanks! Thank you, Rupee. <sighs> Thank you! After hearing how supportive Rupee will be of us going forward, we all feel instilled with an overwhelming confidence at the fact that we've acquired another ally. After dinner... Oh man, I'm stuffed. The food was simply scrumptious. <laughs> I know, right? I've never eaten such a luxurious meal. Very much Mustang style. After a satisfying meal, we head to our assigned accommodations. Let's see... Our room is... Over here. Oh my! Wow! A pretty room! Bro, you sign up for this competition and you get housing and a very nice hotel too. Wait. Am I staying in a room with these two? The bed is massive! Oh. Okay. Are we all supposed to sleep in it together? You're right. There's only. Mm. Yes. Oh, okay, okay. <gasps> Soda and I frantically look around the room, but to no avail. <laughs> Let's check behind the corner. Maybe there's a bed there. <laughs> Aside from the oversized bed in front of us, the area is bereft of other places to sleep. Not even a couch? Ooh, and it's so soft. Come and lie down, you guys. Well, we could do this. We could, we could lie on it sideways. prefer sleeping on the floor <laughs> <laughs> in this outfit no you take the bed absolutely not no girl come on if someone were to come in here and and see that i forced the girls to sleep on the bed i would have an earful i can't let you sleep on the floor well i'm not gonna let you sleep on the floor either huh? both of you are gonna sleep on the floor why there's more than enough space on the bed that's true, Alice. I could sleep on the edge. It's fine. To be polite. I could also sleep in the middle, too. Hmm. Alright then. I'll take the floor, too. <laughs> and all three of us slept on the floor. I want to sleep with you guys. Don't you think it'll be a little strange for all of us to be sleeping on the floor when there's a big bed right in front of us? Yes, it's strange. Let's just all be on the bed. Why don't we all just share the bed then? See, Alice is right. For Alice, sleeping separately clearly isn't an option. If that's the case, let's all sleep on the bed. Yahoo! It's fine. I want to sleep in the middle. There you go. Then squeeze it nice and tight between you two. That's a great idea. <laughs> After we've all taken a shower and laid down on the bed to sleep, I find myself feeling glad that I'm not right next to Soda. Really? Why? And Alice is so innocent, I feel like, again, to her, it's just like a sleepover. Dot, dot, dot. My left shoulder still feels a bit stiff. I hope the game tomorrow isn't as physical. Slowly, I drift off to sleep. <sighs> the next morning. Alright, let's see what other shenanigans occur. I wake into the feeling of warm sunlight on my face. A soft bed underneath me. And... Soft hair? With some trepidation, I open my eyes. <laughs> I 
face. I'm startled to find Alice's face dangerously close to mine. Hmm? Nobody? Uh, morning, Alice. <laughs> Did you sleep well? Yeah. Are you both up? Good morning. Good morning, Twinkling Bunny. Were you ready up, Soda? Yeah. I woke up earlier and have been tidying up. Mm, old habits. The place was so clean that there wasn't much to do. But I figured that a day had passed and some dust might have gathered. <laughs> Whoa, this place is sparkling clean. While I was cleaning, I made a promise to myself. I'm not going to make mistakes during the competition. You, you tell yourself that, Soda. We got That's this. Fantastic. I'll make the same promise to myself as well. Let's all do our best out there, everyone. All right. Let's do this. Now that I think about it, did, he even, did I even bring a change of clothes? Did these two just sleep in their bunny outfits? After getting ready, we head out to the main wow. hall. Everyone's already here. I think we may be the last ones. <laughs> yep, they sure aren't messing around. Even though we've arrived on time, all the other teams have already arrived and are warming up. Huh? Warming up? I see Rouge over there as well. It looks like she is speaking with some people. Do you think something is going on? Ooh, the white and black bunny's friend! Do you think they'll be over there? Let's go check it out! Okay. When we head over to where Rouge is, we see her speaking with Milk and Sugar, who seem to be in a bit of a pickle. Is there really no other way? Hmm. Uh oh. Is something the matter? Hey, pal. Well, Prima withdrew from the competition. What the fudge? Look how mad she is. Really? That came out of nowhere. Yeah. She said Coin Rush has lots of good nap spots. So she decided to sleep instead of participating in the competition. <laughs> I joked about it, but she actually did it. Prima actually did it. She chose sleep over victory. Yeah, I knew it. No wonder she was so cooperative on the first day. Oh. She had an ulterior motive all this time. She lied to you guys. It'd be a shame for the team to withdraw. So we were discussing if there was any way we could stay in the game. Uh, nah, sorry. Sorry. You, you're done. You're done. Get out of here. <laughs> you guys didn't even compete in the first bracket. It's not like we were disqualified, so. We'd hate to have to bow out now. According to the rules, if a player drops out or is injured, they can be replaced by someone else. Is it gonna be Mary? However, you'd have to find a replacement before the second game begins. Seriously? Well, yeah. What are we gonna do, wait on you guys? This entire area is filled with other participants. So how are we supposed to find a new team member that quickly? That's not true. There's someone here who isn't involved in the competition. Oh, so Mary is going to be in what? it. Who? Dr. Bunny. Ah, uh, no, Alice. Come on, don't say it. Come again? Oh, you mean Mary. Hmm. I don't see any problem with that on our end. Uh, I do, actually. Mary should be the designated doctor. She shouldn't be distracted with the tournament. At any rate, the most important thing is whether she's willing to do it. Yeah. Rouge raises her hand slightly and looks towards the infirmary, where Mary is standing in front of... Or where she's standing. Seems like you're discussing something interesting. So, what do you think, Mary? Hmm. Well... I don't really have much to do while the games are underway. Also, if someone were to sustain an injury out there, I'd be in a better position to help them straight away. But, but Mary, you could get injured. And what are we going to do if the doctor is injured? Who's going to be the doctor to the injured doctor? I think that we should not allow this. I'm no athlete, though. I'm afraid I'd only end up dragging you all down. Yeah. It's okay. We'll be disqualified without you, so something is better than nothing. True. And to be fair, I don't know if Freema would have been any better. Exactly. 
Just participating in the first place will be doing us a huge solid. Really? Well, since you asked, I suppose I can join you. Yes, yes, thank you! If we win, you'll be entitled to Freema's share of the winnings. Of course. Glad to have you on the team. <laughs> Thanks for having me. All right, we'll make it official then. Mary will replace Freema. So fun! Thank you, Rouge! <laughs> this bull just appears out of nowhere. Where, where'd you come from? Unbeknownst to me, Mustang has already ascended to the stage with a microphone in his hand. Bonjour, everyone! The changement in team formations is also part of the charm of this event, as it opens up all sorts of possibilities! Now that it looks like you've terminated your discussion, let us move on to the second game. Let's go! Whoa! What do we have in store for you all oh, this time? Oh, I should click it. It's none other than the... Nikkei Whack-A-Mole! <laughs> Whack-A-Mole? Is that the one where you use a hammer to bonk moles that pop up? Yep, I think so. Uh, so what exactly is the Nikkei version of it? Zing. At that moment, a large box starts to descend from the center, from the ceiling. Several large holes are cut into the top. Oh, those are some big holes. I reckon Rabbity can crawl through them if he wants to. I was gonna say that's what she said. In this game, two teams will take turns playing offensive month or defensive month. The leader of the offensive team will be given a hammer, while the members of the defending team will go into the box trio. So that's why we have a doctor here. We're literally bonking each other. You can't. Yeah, you can't be serious. Oh boy, that is a serious thing. <laughs> what a thing to to uh, compare it to. The mods in this game will be none other than yourselves. Hitting other team members will earn you points, while hitting anything else will cost you points. <laughs> the team with the inferior score at the end of the round will be eliminated. Also. If you stay in one hole for too long or do not leave the game after being hit, that will also result in a point deduction for your team. Oh no. I'm the team leader. Does that mean I'm the one who has to hit them with the hammer? That's right. How am I supposed to do that? Very hard. Do very hard. No, it's not a real hammer, but still. Isn't there anyone else who can do this? I'm sorry, but the rules expressly forbid it. Oh man! The first team to play will be Team Soda and Team Milk. Of course it is. Soda, prepare to start working! As for the rest of you, get into the box! What? We're starting right now? Whatever you do, don't hesitate. Just start whacking. What? You could do it, Soda. Sounds like it'll be fun. Good luck. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, Alice is so innocent and so like happy-go-lucky. Alice and I step to the side and get ready to cheer Soda on. Meanwhile, the members of the opposing team enter the box. <laughs> you could do it. Just whack them. Make sure they are whacked so hard they're out of the tournament. Ready, set, go! <laughs> hit him, Mark! Hit him! Hit him! Uh. Wow, I, I feel like that was a perfect score. 
Out of fear that she may harm someone, Soda can't bring herself to swing a hammer with full force. As a result, she ends up missing most of the moles. What? Hey, I got a perfect score. There's not much time left. Will the game end with an unremarkable score? Soda, freaking go all out. Oh, man. Go full burst right now. Just then. <laughs> Oh, oh no, she's stuck. <laughs> Hit him again! <laughs> oh dear. Oh no, Mary! This is bad. I'm stuck. Are you okay? Soda, now's your chance! Fucking get her! You got a weapon! What? <laughs> <laughs> like sweep the hammer across the floor and then uppercut her face. <laughs> They're right, you know. Since I'm stuck, I won't be able to disappear down the hole. So if you give me a few good whacks, you'll be able to get a bunch of points. But won't I end up hurting you? Oh, don't worry about that. It's just a game, you know. You're not going to hurt me. The way she said it sounds like a like a sexy villain. You're not gonna hurt me. You're not gonna hurt me. Uh, I guess so, but still. Just do soft bops, but just do a bunch of them. Oh jeez, I'm sorry. Soda gently taps Mary on the head with the toy hammer. Boop. At the same time, the sound of the whistle echoes through the area. Okay, that concludes the game. <sighs> Milk and her team member maneuvered their way out of the claustrophobic box, drenched in sweat. Wow. Sorry, everyone. Oh, she's crying. I didn't plan on getting stuck. I didn't plan on getting my boobs stuck in the hole. It's okay. None of us could have predicted that would happen. I mean... However... What? It's nothing. Was she about to say something mean? Oh, look at her. She's so sad. I'm assuming we got quite a few points deducted since you hung around that one hole for a while. Oh, yeah, that's right. Milk, are you good with a hammer? You bet I am. Oh, now we have to dodge. I'll give it all I've got. Ah, shit. Dump. Dump, 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 dump. Milk wields a hammer like a pro, bonking us all on the head with startling speed. Ah, fudge! Team Cafe Sweetie has also finished the game. Hmm, these results are plus interesting. The team which will be eliminated only lost by a single point. Oh? Oh no. We must be the ones who got eliminated. The other team racked up a whole bunch of points. Whereas we hardly got any because of me. I'm sorry, everyone. Don't give up so quickly. They haven't announced the results yet. And it was really close. Damn, that must have been a huge penalty for Mary to be stuck in one spot. I guess. Do you reckon that's how it's going to go down? Milk? Well, regardless of the outcome, we did our best. And that's what counts. Let's just wait and see. It's with the heavy heart that I must announce as the team which has been eliminated. Is none other than <laughs> he's holding on to it. Team Milk, <laughs> despite the fact that Milk was admirable on Speedy with the hammer, unfortunately, the points deducted due to Mary getting stuck had an impact significant deep on this. Ah, there we go. It's a shame, but it looks like it's game over for them. Oh my. Yeah, yeah. Go back to the infirmary where you belong, Mary. <laughs> oh. I'm here to win, guys. The other teams proceed according to the predetermined bracket and are substan subsequently divided according to the winners and losers. Our second game has come to an end!
Those who have been eliminated are free to stay and spectate or leave the area. Our third game begins tomorrow. But until then, feel free to amuse yourself. And most importantly, don't forget to have a good time! And tell Tremble! Boom, boom, boom! We won! We won! <laughs> She's so sad. We won, Soda! Relax! Aren't we lucky? The, I... Actually, very much so. We are lucky. We avoided elimination by the skin of our teeth, but Soda strangely doesn't seem all too thrilled about it. <sighs> What's on your mind, Soda? After getting lost in her thoughts for some time, Soda walks towards Milk and her team. I'm sorry, you guys. <laughs> oh, Mary. I got too excited and ended up sticking my entire upper body out of the hole. It's all right. We appreciate that you did everything you could. Yeah, what she said. <laughs> She's being a sore loser. <laughs> Thank you for saying that. Then I'll head back to the infirmary. Why don't we grab dinner together if you're still around later? Sure, let's do that. Oh, no, no harm, no foul. Mm, um. Yes. What is it? You. You all did great. Excuse me. What did you just say? Are you about to be Minnesota? I just wanted to say that you all did a great job out there. Huh? What's with this music? Why are you coming over here to tell us that? It's just... I think it's a real shame that your team was eliminated after you all put in so much effort. If you feel so bad about it, why didn't you volunteer to get eliminated in our stead? Oh no, Milk! Ah, this is why you're a low tier unit. I... <sighs> Settle down, Milk. You're getting a bit heated. <sighs> Fine. Since you came all the way over here, let me ask you something. Why are you participating in this event? Hey! Hello, guys. Hello, chat. Ariella, hey. darling, thank you for the rave. We're in a tense scene right now. You can tell because of the music. Well, the maid cafe isn't doing so well. Unless something changes, we'll most likely have to close down by next month. Seriously? <sighs> Considering the fact that your livelihood is about to close down, you sound awfully casual about it. To think we lost to someone like that. <sighs> Us being eliminated isn't really that important. In fact, I'd say we did pretty darn good considering we had Mary as a last minute replacement. I'm perfectly happy with our performance. The only thing that frustrates me is that we lost by one measly point. And to some lily-livered sucker like you who isn't in it to win! Hey, 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 hey! Be nice, Milk! I want to win just as much as anyone here! I gave it my all out there! You gave it your all? Did you really? You didn't give that hammer a proper swing even once. That's because I thought I might hurt- You saw for yourself that it was a toy, and the other members were bonking people on the head with it. Do you think everyone else is a bunch of psychopaths who are okay with bashing each other's brains in? I mean, true. <laughs> and what about your team members? Did you ever think about them having to scurry around in that stuffy box? <sighs> your performance during this round was a disgrace. Hey, hey, Milk, chill. Chill! <laughs> this girl is a sore loser. And I'm ashamed to have lost to someone like you. If you don't like what I'm saying or how I'm saying it, then I suggest you get out of my face. Oh, we about to square up, girl. Milk storms off with a sour face look, sour look on her face. <laughs> oh man, Soda just got bullied. <sighs> Sorry about that. You came at a bad time. <laughs> yeah. 
the bad time being them losing. As you can see, Milk is in a rather foul mood. She gets pretty competitive sometimes. I apologize for her excessively harsh remarks. Soto is so pathetic. Like, like when I say pathetic, I mean like the, the strict definition of it. She's so like, so sad. As for me, I'd recommend you take some time out and think about whether you're really giving this your all. Having said her piece, Sugar quietly gets up and follows Milk. Hey there, Twinkling Bunny! Okay, Alice is here. She can lighten up the mood because she's so happy-go-lucky. We're about to eat! Aren't you hungry? Damn, I'm hungry. Hi, Alice. Actually, I'm a bit tired. I think I'll head to the room to rest. Aw, Soda's not gonna join us? You two eat without me. Soda smiles and heads back into the room. Hmm. She seems way different from before. Do you think she's okay? What? I thought I would be more concerned. I'm right here, I'm just like, yeah, she'll be fine, let's go eat. Hmm. Okay. Figuring that Soda might need some time alone, Alice and I stroll around Coin Rush and return to the room later. Dot dot dot. What if she's crying? Or sitting on the ground all depressed. Ready or not, here we come. Oh gosh, Alice. Huh? <laughs> click, click. Alice opens the door and I peek inside worriedly. Hi, Soda. Howdy. Uh. Oh, okay. I, I was, I was worried we we're gonna come into an empty room. You're back. What if she was changing? Uh, I, I guess I should have been more considerate. I got bored after resting. So I decided to do some cleaning. This is a hotel room. There is nothing to clean. It's all spick and span now. Also, did she bring her cleaning supplies? Huh? Contrary to my expectations, Soda seems positively effervescent. It sure is! You're amazing when it comes to cleaning! <laughs> you flatter me. Anyway, you two must be tired. Go ahead and wash up. <laughs> How was the dinner? Delicious! It would have been even better if you'd join us, Green Bunny. Yeah! You're coming with us tomorrow, and I won't take no for an answer! Yeah, you, you tell her, Alice. <laughs> okay. Question mark? Despite all the outward enthusiasm, I sense something isn't quite right. I gingerly approach Alice before asking her a question. Alice, why didn't you call Soda Twinkling Bunny? Oh, that? Well, that's because she's not beaming like she was before. Damn, her innocence. <laughs> Sure. So, so... Wait, why, why did the scene change with this horror sounding music? Like she's about to go psycho or something. Like listen to this music and look at her face. <laughs> That's some psycho shit. Sure, Soda may be standing there with the same smile she always has, but... The air of happiness that once surrounded her is now absent. Ugh, it's creepy. Her usual sparkle that brings a smile to your face with just a single glance seems to have vanished. Golden, golden coin rush to be continued. Such a negative note to end on, jeez. Oh, come on, Dozer, you played this long enough. I I know! It's one thing, Mel, for her to be sad, but that scene, like, she was straight up, like, like, she mi was mind broken. There's always some sort of angst in the events. True, true. Hey, the summer event, at least the first one, that shit was dark. I was like, bro, this is the beach episode, why is this so dark? Usually when I have to play games like this where, like, you try not to f*** up, I try to try to zone it, zone out, and just relax. Because usually when you are tense or stressed, that's when you start making mistakes. Fine, it's going a little faster. I'm not gonna make any mistakes. Oh my gosh, it's going really fast. Uh, okay. No! Oh, <laughs> no! Okay. All right. 